Go to the products section. We will first download the products for updating their details. For doing this, click the export button. Select product. Click the generate button on the top right. Choose the template to which the concerned products belong. Here, we're choosing all the templates for your better understanding. Choose the brand. Again, we're choosing all the brands. Finally, select Excel from the drop-down, and click Export. A zip file will be downloaded to your PC. Extract the zip file. As you can see, you will get all the templates, with all the products. Let's quickly take one product as an example. We will be modifying the name of this product. Orange Party Shirt will be renamed to Orange Casual Shirt. And as you can see, this product is non-returnable, and we will change it to a returnable product. In this tutorial, we will learn how to update this information using an Excel file. Let's go to the website. In the t-shirts category, there are multiple shirts. And in this tutorial, we will be updating the details of all these shirts. Before that, you need to know the item code of the concerned shirts. The t-shirts will be in the Topware template. This template contains all the Topware created by you on Find Platform. These are the rows for the green shirt, black shirt, red shirt, blue shirt, white shirt, and orange shirt. We will keep only these rows, and we will remove the rest of the rows. For updating the products, you need only one row of item code. Therefore, you can remove the rows having repetitive item codes. Finally, we will have one row for each product. Along with the item code column and brand column, you also need to keep the columns you want to update. If you remember, we wanted to change the name. And, we also wanted to change the return configuration, which is these two columns. Apart from the five columns we discussed, let's delete all other columns. In the name column, let's modify the name of the products. Keep days in the return time unit. In the return time limit, let's enter 7. This indicates a 7 day return period for the products. Now, we'll add one more column, and name it as command. In this column, write an update command for all the products. So, this will be your final Excel file that will represent the details to be updated for the given products. In the Products section, go to Import. Choose Product. Select the product type. The department. And the template for the concerned products. Using the File Uploader, choose your Excel file. You can verify the data, and then click the Upload button. A batch job will run for updating the information of each product on Find Platform. Once done, its status will change from Pending to Completed. If you go to the Products section, you will see the changes. The names of these products have been updated. Let's click on a product. As you can see the name is updated. 
and the return configuration shows 7 days. Now, let's go to the website. Refresh the page. As you can see the names have been updated. Also, you can click on any of the products, and view their updated name. 